So what am I going to report on today? A brand new live interactive spectacular show has been announced for 2020 at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Donkster Ball, but built for theme park news, and yes, welcome to a theme park news room update from Universal Studios Orlando Resort. Now, as you can probably tell, this room is a bit echoey, but there's some work that needs to be done upstairs for a bit, for a couple of hours, so um, move down here just for one video. Don't worry, we're going to be back tomorrow with another one uh, from up there. Um, just temporarily down here for today, um, just while something gets sorted out. So yes, this is a theme park news update on a brand new show that's going to be coming to Universal Studios Orlando for the 2020 season. Now before we get started, um, we are going to announce some shout outs. They'll be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for them. If you, if you request a shout out for the next video, it'll be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, let's go through then some details on the brand new The Bourne Spectacular. So this is from the official blog of Universal Orlando Resort. So you can see on your screen now, Fernando Midorsi, that, my friends, is the official um, logo for The Bourne Spectacular. Uh, and we do have the official details um, from the official blog. Uh, spring 2020, The Bourne Spectacular, an all new live action stunt show will debut at Universal Studios Florida based on the blockbuster pitch, Universal Pictures film, the Bourne film franchise. This cutting edge, edge of your seat live show will blur the lines between stage and cinema in a hybrid form of entertainment that has never been seen before. The Bourne Spectacular will follow Jason Bourne around the globe as his sinister characters pursue him. This action packed show will feature thrilling chase scenes, punishing fist fights, death defying leaps and danger at every turn. It'll all happen right in front of you with live performers, interactive props, and an immersive LED screen, making it impossible to determine where the live action ends and the screen begins. You won't just watch it, you'll feel it. And of course, you can stay tuned to the blog for Universal Orlando for more details on this new show, which will be revealed in the coming months. So you can sign up for the emails to be notified when new details have been announced. So there we go then, so that's sort of some details then on the Bourne Spectacular. Um, now before we go any further, I do have to sort of mention your shout outs just so I don't forget. So I wanna, I'd rather do it now than the end of the video because I'm going to forget. So big shout outs go to Theme Park Stuff David Ledbetter, Brian Galeas. Um, massive shout out of course as well um, to Mystic Timbers fanboys. I don't think you requested a shout out but... Yeah, you commented a lot recently, so um, yeah, big shout out to you anyway. Uh, Tom and Stace, big shout out to you guys. You guys really love the um, the videos. Uh, and yeah, big shout outs to all you guys. And now let's talk about The Born Spectacular. Now, The Born Spectacular sounds just amazing. Don't, I mean, you guys can sort of hear from that description from the blog. Uh, I'm going to link the blog in the description down below as well. Don't it sound incredible? Um, it sounds a bit like Jason Bourne themed motors action stunt show at Disneyland Paris. Uh, that sort of vibe from the Walt Disney Studios Park, uh, which is very, very nice. Very, very cool stuff for that. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I think the big LED screen will be um, sort of nice because um, it means you get to see some like scenes being brought from the films and they can sort of project some scenes from the films. Uh, as well as all the live action stuff happening in front of you. Uh, if you don't know where this is going, this is replacing the this is the long rumored replacement for Terminator 2 3D, which is one of Universal's old dark rides. Uh, so that's being ripped out, and the building itself is being kept. And of course, they're going to be bringing in this stunt show inside the building. Uh, I believe the building. I'm not too sure if the building's being completely taken out. I think it's just all going to be like an indoor stunt show. Uh, if not, they'll probably take the roof off it and just do like a bit of an arena type thing. Not too sure exactly what's happening or I can confirm what's happening. I think other blogs and stuff like that and construction updates can confirm that. But at this stage, I'm personally not sure whether it's going to be a fully indoor stunt show or they're going to take the roof off and it's going to be like an outdoor arena uh, sort of thing with the sort of facade of the old dart ride as the entrance to the stunt show. Kind of like Motor Saxon stunt show. It looks like the facade to a dart ride. 
thing to cars, but then you get in and it's sort of that massive arena for a stunt show. So again, really nice to see uh, this happening. It's great to see this coming. I think a Bourne stunt show was rumoured for a long time at uh, Universal Studios Orlando, and we finally get the confirmation of the Bourne Spectacular. Uh, now with it being called the Bourne Spectacular and not based on one specific film with a name, that says to me we're going to see some stunts maybe performed or related to scenes from all of the Bourne films. Not just one, but all of them. Uh, so it's good to see uh, a collection of Bourne films being brought into this experience. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to flow. I think that's one of the main sort of, not really negatives, but one thing you have to look out for if you're going to do a, a stunt show on a collection of films and not just one film. You've got to sort of flow it and transition it. I know shows. I'm an actor for God's sake. So I know a show when I see one. And you've got to flow. If you're going to do a collection of films or just a collection of stories, for example, uh, in one show, you've got to flow from the next story to the next with great transitions, uh, maybe a stunt to flow into the next scene, use the LED screen to full advantage. But I think Universal are quite capable of doing that. Obviously, in the latest few years, they've used the chance to use LED screens and stuff like that, and more technological stuff, and less sort of uh, in-your-face stuff and reality stuff uh, for its dark rides. Look at Fast and Furious Supercharged uh, over at Universal, in the Universal Parks, replacing Disaster Studios, which is their um, old uh, sort of tram tour dark ride, I guess. Um, I don't know if you remember that one. Um, and so if you look at how Fast and Furious supercharged and how that wasn't really much of a success according to some people at Universal. Um, with, with too much screens, it just didn't really feel like a proper attraction to some people's eyes. Still yet to experience that attraction. Uh, some people don't like Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon. That, I think that's, they said that's got too many screens as well sometimes. So again, there is that sort of, sort of thing of too many screens with the particular attractions. But I think with this one having an LED screen, but mainly it's the live action stuff, it's good to see Universal going back to that. Especially if it's just a show. Maybe they'll trial it with future attractions as well. So I'm excited for Bourne Spectacular. Comment down below your thoughts. What do you think of the Bourne Spectacular? Are you excited for the show? Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. I'm Coach Chow, keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys for another video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.